we have a system of equations, simultaneous equations. So the first step, we're going to solve the system of equations. So the value of y is negative 1.5. So we're going to substitute that value into y. x squared plus 8x plus a plus 1.5, and that's equal to 0. So we have that quadratic equation. In the given system of equations, a is positive constant. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. So what is the value of A? So this term here, exactly one distinct real solution right here, that's what's called a discriminant. What is the discriminant? The discriminant is this expression, B squared minus 4AC. And that expression tells us how many roots or how many real solutions this quadratic equation is going to have. If this expression is greater than zero, you're going to have two distinct real solutions. If this term is equal to zero, you're going to have one real solution. If this expression is less than zero, you're going to have no solutions, just imaginary numbers. So in this case, the system has exactly one distinct field solution. So, so that means B squared minus 4AC is equal to zero. So we're going to use this expression to find the value of A. So the coefficient of X squared is A, and B is 4, that coefficient, and C, that whole term is going to be C. So we're going to substitute that for this expression. So B squared is A squared minus 4, what is the value of A? It's 1, which is right here. And the value of C is this expression, which is A plus 1.5, and that's equal to 0. A squared is 64 minus 4A, when you distribute that one here and here, minus 6 is equal to 0. We're going to add this and this, and we have 58 minus 4a is equal to 0. We're going to subtract 58 on both sides. So we have negative 4a is equal minus 58. This negative and this negative cancel out. And we have a is equal 58 over 4. So divided by 2 is 29. Divided by 2 is 2. So the value of a is equal 29 over 2. And that's the value of a.